are you? I'm doing well. Well, this time of year, you know, we got all kinds of crazy weather going on in California, but what are some fun ideas for celebrating this time of year? Absolutely. Well, like you said, rain, um, oftentimes that means the kids are inside. What do you do with them? You know, another thing is um, for Easter, I try to find, you know, things to put in their baskets to reduce the amount of sugar and candy that they get. So I've got some really great suggestions for that. This year, Barbie and a Mermaid Tale 2 is a new DVD. Uh, last year, I actually gave my older daughter the first Mer uh, Barbie Mermaid movie. So this is perfect second year she gets another one. So we're excited about that. And the movie's great because it teaches them positive messages about life and relationships. And another thing they can do on a rainy day is if they go to Barbie.com they can do learn to do the mermaid dance. <laughs> Who doesn't want to know how to hey. do that? Sure. <laughs> and it also, the, huh? Okay. No. I was just like, and of course you can't, it wouldn't be complete without the Barbie herself. So here's the mermaid and she actually transforms into a surfer, which I know you can appreciate. Look at that. Sure. <laughs> nice. So what are some fun spring decor uh, ideas that we can throw out there? Well, decor ideas, I have one that I like. Um, I actually, you know, the kids work so hard on their Easter eggs and getting them ready and they're colorful and this and that. So I like to uh, put the Easter eggs as sort of a, either a centerpiece or you can actually use them as your place card holders if you're having family or friends over. You can write each person's name on one of the colored eggs and it shows the kids that you actually appreciate their, you know, their hard work. Um, oftentimes mine just goes to egg salad. So, <laughs> um, but you know, some more basket ideas. Um, I like these here. This is actually um, Polly Pockets. We have them all over the house. This is a Polly Pocket hangout house. And what I actually like about this is it has this stick and play feature. And as a mom, this is really important. These will actually stick in place so that they won't be lost all over the house. Because I think I've told you before. If my daughter's looking for something specific and I can't find it, oh boy, <laughs> until I locate it. <laughs> um, another idea actually is um, this past holiday season, these fidget friends were really a big thing. And right now for the spring, we have these little guys, they're called newbies. Uh, they're actually shaped like little eggs, so they're perfect for Easter. They sing. They interact with each other, and they also interact with the fidget friends themselves. So this is a neat idea. And then one more thing before I share more ideas about decorations. Um, for boys, I have two boys. Uh, this Matchbox Cliffhanger Fire Station is a great gift. Uh, this is actually, it affixes to a tabletop so it's off the floor. So it's not taking up valuable floor space, and mom isn't tripping over all of the cars. So Very nice. super important. Right. <laughs> yeah. There's some more things then for uh, for the boys for the decor ideas. Uh, for the oh for the decor ideas for boys. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, more ideas for like your gift bat or I mean your Easter baskets. Um, one of the things that we like to do is uh, you know buy a Easter book and you can actually put it in the bottom of their basket and it's something else that they have to look for uh, that kind of just keeps it exciting. So like I said, it's not all candy. Uh, I try to stay away from that as much as I can. Um, and then other decor ideas, you know, for each holiday, because I do usually entertain at the holidays, I just like to have specific tablecloths for each, you know, one, um, maybe placemats. I have uh, like a special plate that I use for my cake, uh, you know, things like that. And um, I think everybody can find something affordable that they can use that makes it feel special. Sure. And when you think about Easter baskets, you know, it, it's always, or it used to be when we were growing up, just fill it full of the candy toys, and then you've got all this sugar to deal with. So I think having these ideas and things for them to play with, especially if it is raining, like, you know, it has been yeah, exactly. in California, it helps tremendously. It does. And, you know, another thing, you know, we were talking about earlier, also we used to get a lot of stuffed bunnies or stuffed ducks or whatever. You know, how many stuffed animals do you possibly need? And with four kids, we have more than we need. So these are good, you know, in, in place of, like, stuffed animals and things things like that, and all age groups, right? I mean, you can go little boys to bigger, you know, so all age groups, a little bit older in the girls. So it's a, real, it's a nice range of products for the, you know, different age kids. Sure, and you've always got great tips like this at uh, JustForMom.com? Yes, absolutely. I think I have a cute little uh, art project up there with their little uh, robin's nests where you use, like, shredded coconut, and, you know, I think if you want to use food coloring, you can make them green, and then you put little eggs, like, whether you use the Cadbury mini eggs or whatever, inside of them, but they make, like, little nests. So, yeah, that's sure. up there. <laughs> Sarah, we sure appreciate all the tips. Thank I, uh, you. I always have a good time speaking with you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.